Once upon a time, in the age of the Eternal Cylinder, there lived a family of little creatures called the Trebum. Trebum are not the strongest, nor the fastest, and they do not have sharp teeth. They would make easy prey for the terrible force that came to their planet. But Trebum are loyal and resourceful and very, very stubborn. It is with such a Trebum that our story begins. One clever little creature born into a cruel world who would be instrumental in bringing prosperity to its kind. Something inside him said, run! The great crushing thing, the great cylinder, had stopped. Perhaps it was safe here for a little while. How quickly it learned to use its legs and its trunk. But these things were not so much learned as they were remembered. Perhaps, the little Trebum thought, they were a gift from the strange voice it heard in its mind. That too was a kind of memory. Just when it was starting to get used to its legs, the food from the jumping creature gave it new ones. With the right substance as a catalyst, a trebum can transform and adapt to many challenges. The Trebum was drawn to a bright light, or perhaps to the creature next to it. Except for the grass growing on the old one's head, they were very much alike. Surrounded by this light, the Trebum knew things it had not known before. It knew the older Trebum had carried this light for a long, long time. And it knew that now that responsibility had passed to the next generation. Yes, this young Trebum had to carry the light to those great towers in the distance. It could have stayed here to learn many old things. But the cylinder would not allow it. Run, 
The inner voice said, run. The towers would not stop the cylinder unless they were activated. Towers had fallen and the light was lost. There was no more point in running. The cylinder would consume everything. By this light, the Trebum knew things it had not known before. It knew the older Trebum had carried this light for a long, long time. And it knew that now that responsibility had passed to the next generation. Yes, this young Trebum had to carry the light to those great towers in the distance. It could have stayed here to learn many old things, but the cylinder would not allow it. Run, the inner voice said, run. The towers would not stop the cylinder unless they were activated. The voice inside the Trebum's memories assured it that while the tower stood, the Trebum would be safe. The power of the eternal cylinder was contained for now. This relative tranquility gave the Trebum a chance to think about its family. Trebum are not meant to live alone, so where were the others?
It was hard for the Trebum to know what to do or where to go. But the friendly voice suggested this was not the right way. To find your path, it said, you must follow the beam of light that emanates from the tip of the tower and stay away from the deep waters where the old things dwell. Finding another Trebum was a cause for joy, but this new friend was not well. Deep inside the memories it had inherited, the Trebum found the answer. To recover, its friend needed a very specific substance which appeared as glittering clusters of crystal dust. This dust was not natural. Only a great Trebum could create it. And so it was on the achievements of previous generations that the newborn Trebum would have to rely. Luckily, it seemed a wise and powerful Trebum had passed through here some time ago.
our young friend had found an egg, a trebum egg, with one of his siblings inside. The egg had been abandoned, but it could still be made to hatch. All that was needed was a source of heat. This door had been built for Trebum. It gave them hope that in this large and dangerous world, some places had been made for them. ancient statue transferred knowledge to the tremor. It was as if a memory had been stored inside it, waiting for someone to absorb it. And as soon as this knowledge had entered their minds, the Trebum realized that there was a great library of information hidden away in the web of their memories. But why was the knowledge of a specific ingredient placed here in this trebum made of stone?
Inside the cave, the Trebum found a living elder. It had been waiting in this chamber for a long, long time. The elder told them it was happy to see some friends before the cylinder came. It said, you are young, so you never knew the time when our people could shapeshift at will. We Trebum are inheritors of a vast tree of abilities. Abilities passed on to all future Trebum. But this power is being taken away. Beware the servants of the Cylinder. They will seek to hurt you at every opportunity, and they have the power to rob you of your abilities. But if you persevere, one day you will find a way to protect yourselves from their evil light. Farewell, my brave friends. I fear I am too old and tired to join you. May you find a way to prosper in this time of struggles. easy to leave the cave, but the elder had urged them to go forward. Suddenly they felt the weight of their many tasks, to find their Trebum siblings, to restore the powers their people had lost, and it all seemed a little daunting. But even when they are afraid, Trebum are stubborn. 